Today we're taking a look at the NHL matches, which are happening on Monday, February 28, 2022, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. 5 plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Vancouver Canucks vs New Jersey Devils The Vancouver Canucks and the New Jersey Devils meet in NHL action from the Prudential Center on Monday night. Our first pick is New Jersey Devils to win. And here is why. Vancouver was a minus 105 favorite in their last game, and they defeated the New York Rangers 5-2. Tyler Myers and Matthew Hymar each scored a goal and had an assist. JT Miller had two assists. Thatcher Demko stopped 31 out of 33 shots faced. Vancouver is 11th in the Western Conference. They are three points shy of the 8th place Dallas Stars. Vancouver is in a battle with a few teams to get a playoff spot in a tight Western Conference. In their last game, New Jersey was a small minus 110 favorite, but they lost 8-5 against the Chicago Blackhawks. Jesper Bratt scored twice. Jonas Agentler and Jack Hughes scored a goal and had two assists. John Gilly stopped 29 out of 35 shots faced. The Devils sit 14th in the Eastern Conference, and they have no chance of making the playoffs. They are 24 points shy of the 8th place Washington Capitals. This is going to be a great game between two teams eager to improve in their respective divisions. The Canucks are looking to pull off the upset and win their fourth game in a row, but the Devils look to bounce back from a recent loss and exploit mismatches on both ends of the ice. The Devils should find the back of the net throughout the game with Jesper Brad, Jack Hughes, and the rest of the forward unit carrying the puck into the offensive zone and using their speed to overwhelm the Canucks' defense. The Devils should also limit the Canucks' top heavy offense with Jonas Agentler, Ryan Graves, and the rest of the defensive unit, stepping up and forcing turnovers in the neutral zone and defensive zone alike, while limiting shots on the net, allowing goaltender John Gillies to make plenty of easy saves. The Devils should win the game with a dominant performance on their home ice. Our second pick is under 5.5 points. And here is why. The Devils are having a season to forget despite their offense stepping up and scoring 3.00 goals per game, including 5 goals in their recent game. Jesper Brad and Jack Hughes have scored 33 goals and 51 assists combined, while Nico Hishier, Dawson Mercer, and Yigor Sharangovich have added 38 goals and 50 assists to the top two lines, but the rest of the offense has stepped up as well. Pavel Zaka, Andreas Johnson, and Tomas Tatar have combined for 32 goals and 39 assists, while defensemen Dougie Hamilton and Damon Severson have added 14 goals and 37 assists from the point to open up the offense. The Vancouver Canucks will look to build on a three-game win streak after a 5-2 win over the Rangers last time out. JT Miller leads the Canucks in scoring with 59 points, including a team-high 20 goals and 39 assists, while Quinn Hughes has 41 points with 37 assists. Conor Garland also has 14 goals this season with a total of 30 points, and Luke Shen has a team best plus 14 plus minus. Bo Horvitz also added 29 points with 17 goals of his own, and Elias Peterson has 38 points with 17 goals and 21 assists for Vancouver this year. Thatcher Demko seen the majority of action between the pipes for the Canucks, going 23-16-2 with a 2.61 GAA and a .918 save percentage this season. The Canucks have looked promising this season, but hope the offense can improve, scoring only 2.72 goals per game. JT Miller and Bo Horvat have scored 37 goals and 51 assists, while Elias Peterson, Brock Boser, and Conor Garland have added 46 goals and 52 assists to the top two lines, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only eight skaters have scored seven goals or more, and opposing defenses can easily limit the top-heavy offense as a result. The New Jersey Devils will try to bounce back from an 8-5 loss to Chicago in their last game. Jesper Bratt leads the Devils in scoring with 48 points, including team highs of 18 goals and 30 assists, while Damon Severson has 30 points with 7 goals and 23 assists. Dawson Mercer has 29 points with 12 goals and 17 assists, and Nico Hishier has 33 points with 14 goals and 19 assists this season. Jack Hughes also has 36 points with 15 goals and 21 assists this season. And for our third pick, New Jersey Devils wins 3-2. And here is why. The offense has been improving lately for Vancouver. They scored three goals or more in nine out of the last ten games. 
Vancouver ranks 23rd in goals per game, 13th in shots per game, 30th in shooting percent, and 20th in scoring efficiency ratio. JT Miller leads the team with 59 points. He has recorded two points or more in six out of his last eight games. The offense has struggled for the Devils lately. They scored two goals or less in six out of the last 10 games. New Jersey ranks 15th in goals per game, 14th in shots per game, 19th in shooting percent, and 26th in scoring efficiency ratio. Jesper Bratt leads the team with 48 points. The New Jersey Devils head back home on Monday and will host the Vancouver Canucks. The Devils are 18-29-5 on the season and sit 8th in the Metropolitan. New Jersey lost to Chicago 8-5 on Friday. The Devils have won three of their last 10 games and carry a 10-13-3 on their home ice. John Gillies will make his 14th start in the net for New Jersey. Gillies is 3-9-1 on the season with 48 goals allowed. Gillies carries a 3.43 goals against average with a .887 save percentage. The Devils last played the Canucks back in 2019 when they won 2-1. The Vancouver Canucks play in New York on Sunday night before heading north to New Jersey. Vancouver went into Sunday riding a two-game win streak. The Canucks are 25-22-6 on the season and sit sixth in the Pacific. Vancouver carries a 13-12-3 road record. Jaroslav Halak will protect the net for Vancouver. Halak is 2-5-2 on the season with 27 goals and carries a 2.93 goals against average. The Canucks are 8th best in the league in goals allowed per game. Canucks defense has been fairly average, but goaltending has been very good for the Canucks. They rank 9th in goals against per game, 16th in shots against per game, and 5th in opponent shooting percent and save percent. Thatcher Demko has a 23-16-2 record with a 2.60 GAA and 0.918 SV percent. Jaroslav Halak has a record of 2-5-2 with a 2.93 GAA and 0.899 SV percent. Quinn Hughes ranks top 10 in points and assists among all defensemen in the league. Devils defense has been good, but goaltending has been poor for New Jersey. They rank 30th in goals against per game, 13th in shots against per game, and 31st in opponent shooting percent and save percent. Mackenzie Blackwood has a record of 9-9-3 with a 3.29 GAA and 0.894 SV percent. Dowdy Hamilton has 7 goals this season. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.